So 100 cc and 150 cc motorcycles are in high demand in the Indian two-wheeler segment. Now we have an electric motorcycle. Welcome to Drive Spark. I'm Vedan Jahari, and this is the Open Road Electric Motorcycle. So now, starting off with the front end of the motorcycle, we have an LED headlight with the open badging on it with two sleek, very nicely designed indicators. And in the front, we have telescopic suspensions, which is placed right next to 270mm uh, front disc brakes. So now, this motorcycle, uh, speaking about the disc brakes, which comes with a unified brake assist. And what's a unified brake assist? That's nothing but a combi braking system. So. You press one brake, both the brakes get engaged. So we have 270mm uh, plates in the front and 240 in the rear. And what's the braking system? Well, it's a hydraulic braking system, which gives you that little sharper bite on your brakes, no matter which you press, the back or the front. Now, as we move through the motorcycle, we have a very differently designed uh, tank, so to say. It's an electric motorcycle, so you don't really have a fuel tank. But uh, this section, as you can see, is very upright, but it doesn't have proper uh, padding, proper grips for your knees over here. Now, I'll come to that when I'm talking about the right feel of the motorcycle and all of that. Also, the crash guards on this motorcycle are the first in the segment. So far, we haven't seen an electric motorcycle with crash guards, and this is just uh, for safety purposes. It protects your leg, it protects the bike. If there's any mishap that occurs. Also, in terms of your protection, uh, your battery pack comes with a 4mm aluminium casing. Again, just for your basic requirements. You're, you're riding on the city, you have stones flying all over the place, you have uh, potholes that you might hit which you may not see. So all of that, the, the aluminium casing just protects that from any further damage, any unnecessary damage to your battery pack. So as we move along the motorcycle, we have the uh, raw badging on your tank on the side of the motorcycle and your main open badging is located in the front in a very nice silver that blends in with the whole color scheme of the motorcycle. So as you move to the rear of the motorcycle, as it's a commuter, it does have the commuter look but with a touch of sportiness as looks always enhance the feel of whatever you're on. For local purposes, for the basic Indian customer, as it's a commuter motorcycle, it also comes with a sari guard just to prevent any, again, anything wrong from happening. The, the moment you're in the sporty uh, skating position, if you want to look at your display, it is uh, tilted a little too upright, so it sort of blocks out your view. However, as it's a commuter, you really don't find yourself sitting in this position throughout. You normally find yourself upright in a more comfortable position. When you're in a comfortable position, when you're in the regular riding position, it's exactly a nice view. It's in. It's not at all out of place for you to look in a certain way to see the display. It's right there in your field of vision. So coming to the display of the Urban Roar, it's a 5-inch LED color segmented display. And a really interesting feature about this is it has automatic uh, brightness. So if you're in a shady location like where we are right now, the brightness of the display will either reduce or increase based on our surroundings just to make it easier for us to see. So if we're in this if we're riding in peak sunlight, the sensor that's located in the display will automatically read that and increase the brightness so that we can look at it with with much more ease without having to strain our eyes. Whereas if we're in a shady location like this, it'll read that and it will reduce the brightness because you, do, you really don't need a bright display at that point. Almost any light can be seen through. So now, coming to the, the battery and the motor of this motorcycle. So this has a 4.4 kilowatt hour battery pack with an 8 kilowatt motor that produces around 52 newton meters of torque. Now this 8 kilowatt battery has been redesigned from the previous version. The previous version came with a 10 kilowatt battery, but now with the 8 kilowatt battery, it would obviously reduce the weight, resulting in a better power to weight ratio on the motorcycle. In terms of performance of the motorcycle, we have three ride modes Eco, City, and Havoc. Eco being the most easiest mode, the, the one with the least amount of power, 
and Havoc being the one with the most amount of power. In the short time that we got to ride the motorcycle, I mainly rode it on Havoc as you were on open roads, on free roads. The bike accelerating from 0 till 40 took around 3 seconds and you could really feel the initial torque. However, as the speed increased, the torque gradually reduced. You really don't need a lot of power, a lot of the pull once you cross 70. As a commuter vehicle is mainly used in the city, is mainly used from point A to point B and very little for your long rides. So in terms of the design of the motorcycle and the battery in proportion to that, it has enough power to actually satisfy you. But if you are looking for speed on the highway and all of that stuff, the battery won't really give you that thrill of like, I'm going fast. The bike can top out at around 105 kilometers or 106 kilometers per hour. And after that, you do feel the motor cutting off as you've reached your maximum speed that the bike is designed to go. So this battery, as per the ideal driving conditions, they claim around 187 kilometers of range. However, in actual city riding where you're constantly braking, accelerating, stopping, all of that, uh, you get in, in eco mode, you get 120 kilometers of range. In, in city mode, you get 90 kilometers of range. And in havoc mode, you get 70 kilometers of range. On havoc mode, still getting 70 kilometers of range is pretty impressive as from going to your house to work and back on havoc. So if you're those riders who like to go in and out of traffic in the city, who really like to have fun riding in traffic, you can ride on Havoc mode through the day. But if you want to increase your range, if you want to go that one step further, you may have to change down to city or eco, just so that you can reach your final destination without running out of juice on the motorcycle. So the open rod is available in two color schemes. One, as you can see over here, is the red and black, and the other one is a yellow color scheme. So where you have the red over here, it's a yellow in the other motorcycle with a few touches of grey uh, around the bike. Both are super eye-catchy. If you see it on the road, it will turn your head as these colors are really bright and they really st stand out. And plus, red and black is honestly a beautiful color scheme to have, in my opinion, on any motorcycle. Now coming to the service of this bike. Your first three services up to 5,000 kilometers are free. And after that, as a standard, you get either three years or 50,000 kilometers of service, whichever comes first. And you also have an optional package, which is five years or 75,000 kilometers. Again, whichever comes first. So coming to the price point of the open road, it's priced at 1,49,000 X showroom. And as it's a commuter, as it's de designed to be the electric counterpart of the 100 to 250 cc bikes, it's a very, very strong pricing, very competitive. And for what you get, it's completely worth it. So let us know in the comment section down below what you think of the Oban Road and what you like the most about this new electric motorcycle. My name is Vedan Johari, signing out.